So this is a review on how to use your MetaTrader 4 to sign in and to pick trades, to set up the candles colors to your own personal preference. So the first thing is there's a quotes uh, bar here. We have a chart bar. We have the trade bar. Here is where your you see you get to see your balance, equity, margin, free margin, and your marginal level percent, uh, margin level percentage. And whenever you have a runny trade, now let me try to please trade. Although it is just a one dollar there, let me see if it will work. Not enough money. Sorry. So if whenever you have a running trade, I just wanted to show you that trades will be running right here on this same panel where I have where we have this uh, mouse, this cursor. All right. So you see the history. It contains your weekly results, your monthly, your custom result, and today result. And this is the settings panel. So now this example, we are already assuming you already set up your accounts with IC Market using the recommended link sent in the group channel or in the group chat. So you go to a new account. Once you get to a new account, upon signing up on IC Market, they are going to give you your login details. Your login details includes your trading account number. Just as you can see mine here, I have an account number, which is 457276. I'm not supposed to be opening this, okay? Account number, do not share yours with anybody. Just that I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't longer use this account. You can see I only have one dollar 20 cent there. I don't longer use this account. So you do not share yours, your this account with anybody because it's risky. Don't compromise your trading details with anybody. So you have, it's going to be, they are going to give you your trading details, which is your account number, your trading password, which is unique to just you and your server. You can see I'm on IC Market dash life 03. Okay. So you click on, click on your account, log into an existing account. So when you come here, you're going to type IC Market. Probably they're going to give you a very different server because I'm, in, I'm, I'm an old customer with them. I registered for a very, very long time. So probably you're not going to see Life 01, Life 02, Life 03. You're not even going to see Life 011. You're going to be seeing from Life 018 now. Sorry, Life 18 now. Life 18, that's what you're going to be. That's what they're going to give to, likely give to you. So you're going to click on Life 18 or any server they give to you from that you're logging, the, from that your credentials. Or even if you're opening a demo account, you also have to choose from the demo servers that they have. IC markets. See, they have demo one, demo two, demo three. So you select from any one. So let's say example from demo two. You put in your login details, which in that your account number that they're going to give to you, and you also sign your password. So once you are done, remember to toggle on this safe password so that you don't have to be uh, filling in these details all the time. Then once you are done, click on sign in at the bottom here, or you press done. But Android, the process is just similar. Whereas on Android, where my mouse is here, that's you're going to see sign in. Click on sign in there. And that's that for Android. So let me just go back then. It's going to take you to this particular screen. Immediately you sign in to bring you to this screen. Okay. So on this screen, you have your, your quotes, which is your, your Euro USD or your trade, your pairs like this. So if you want to add more pairs, there's this plus sign at the top right here. This plus sign. Sorry. I want to expand this. I want to expand to make sure you guys are seeing this clearly. Okay. Sorry, I want to hide the panel so I can zoom in. Okay, this is what I want to hear. Okay, so see this quote. So if you want to add something to this quote, you want to, you press this plus sign. Pressing this plus sign, you can see crypto pairs, first major pairs, this is they all have pairs inside. If you open them, they all have pairs inside. You have pairs inside, minus all of them. They all have pairs inside of them. So what you want to do, let's say you want to add a, uh, any forest major pairs, on an Android, all you need to do, just click on the pair anywhere. It will go, it will just go and add. But if you see on iPhone, if you click on it, it gives you these details. But iPhone, you have to press this side, this plus sign, this green plus sign by the side to add this plus sign. Whereas on Android, I'm trying to help the Android users and the iPhone users. On Android, you just click on the pair. Why to just immediately? Why to add to your major pair? So all of a we click the plus, and you can see USDJPY. It came to this quotes bar. This quotes bar right here. Uh, AD USD also came here. 
So now let's go and add more pairs. Let's go add more forest minus. We talked about today, we talked about AUDJPY. So let me click on this plus. You can see AUDJPY right here. Okay. Let me click on this plus sign by the side. Sorry, I clicked the wrong one. So went to that place. We also talked about AUD card. Did we talk about AUD card today? Yes, we did. So AUD card is the first there. So we added it. Now let's go to our quotes. See, you find them all here. ADJP. This was one I pressed. I pressed AUD and ZD by mistake. You can see it's right there. ADJP, AUD card. You can see them all right here. So another thing you see here, you see simple and you see advanced. Whereas on Android, all you need to do to switch to simple and advanced mode, you have to long hold. You have to long hold on any currency pair. Like on Euro USD, you cannot try that now. Long hold on Euro USD, you are going to see options pop up. Options, the options would be like, um, mm, when you long hold, you are going to see new orders, open charts, symbol properties, and simple view mode. So if you click on simple view mode, it's going to give you something like this, which we have on iPhone like this. Why iPhone, you are, just have to toggle it on and on on your top bar. Simple view mode is going to give you something without the uh, without the low price, all this stuff. It's not going to give you the spread value, but I always recommend you put it to your advanced mode. Now, how to put it on advanced mode again, just long hold on any pair on your Android, click advanced view mode, which is the last option, advanced view mode. So you're going to see spread. It's going to give you the value of spread, the value of spread. It's going to give you the low value and it's going to give you the higher value. It's better. So you know the spread as regards each pair. I know you have been taught spread and the importance of spread to your trading. The higher, the, the lower the spread, the better for you. I know you know that already. Okay. So after that is said, now when you click on any pair, now I just click on Euro USD, click on Euro USD on iPhone, something pops up from the bottom. Whereas on on an Android, if you click on it, it brings up option, which includes new order. That is, that new order simply means if you want to place trade on GBPUSD, if you want to order GBPUSD, then open chart, if you want to open the chart of GBPUSD, for example, or in this case, EURUSD, and symbol properties, if you want to know more about the symbol, symbol property, why on, I, on iPhone here, details take you to the same chart as what we have on symbol properties on, 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 on an Android. Okay. All right. So let me just go back. I'll be explaining that maybe next time it's more advanced. This symbol properties. So you just want to go back. Now, what you need to really know. Sorry. What you really need to know here is how to open chart and to set the colors. Now, probably if you're just opening your charts and you're just new to trading and everything, your chart should be reading, uh, it should be black on white, black on white. So how to say that is you have to go to settings, the same thing on iPhone and Android, you have to go to settings. So once you go to get to settings, you have to click on, uh, how do you get settings on Android? That's another question. And I know you, you press, there is a button at the top left corner, top left corner, like, like three dashes. Once you click on hit on it, you are going to see uh, settings. Once you click on settings, then you have, you go to uh, colors. Colors is just the bar before the message colon. Go to colors. Whereas on iPhones, just come to settings. When you get to settings, go to um, charts. So when you get to charts, you, you see color right here at the last part. Color is here. So you hit on color. So you get to change all the colors, the foreground. Foreground is what controls the the price chart, what the price color should read. Okay, if you save this now, let's go to chart. The chart, the price bar should be what well, it should be green. You can see, but you can't see it very well, so you have to change it to black because we have a black, a white background. Most of since we have a light background, black will work better on a white background. So we we'll change it to black. I'm just showing you which one it controls. Then since we have that already, the grid is one, there are always lines, 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 lines on your chart. Let's make it blue so you see it. The grid is the one that controls those lines. So they are like, no, it's these boxes you see here. And I don't want those boxes. So what do I do? I turn the grid to white so it can blend with the background. 
So let's just change it to white, select this white color. Then the bar up is the candles that are going up. Remember I told you by, you know, the bullish candles, not by color, because here, right here, we can change the color to whatsoever we want. So the bar up is the frame of the candle, the frame, the frame, why the bull candle is what fuels the frame. Now let me explain this. Let me change the color of the bar up to something like black. So let me take you to, oh, you're not going to see it. Is the frame, you see the, the, bar, the bullish candle is still blue, but the frame, the frame, something that is framing it is now black. Let me change it to a color that is shouty so that we can, we'll be able to understand what I'm saying. Bar up, let me change it to like red. Mm -hmm. Did I click on save? Yes, I did. Can you see the red? There is something. Can you see the wick? The wick right now on laptop, you can't see it clearly. Let's start that zoom in. It's somehow red. It's somehow red. It's somehow red. It's somehow red. You could just know that it's changed the frame of the bullish candle. Okay. And for you to change the feel inside, you have to go to a bull candle. You change the bull candle to, let's change it to magenta. You see that the bull candle, what fuel the frame is going to be magenta color. You see? It's magenta color plus red. You can see right now that this week of this magenta is red, right? That's because we changed that bar up to red. So the same thing also applied to uh, bearish candle. Sorry, the same thing also applied to bearish candles. So let's change it back to blue, blue. So the two of them, you can change it yours to green. Some make theirs green, and some make theirs to blue. As, just as I said earlier, you can turn it to any color that you want. Then, now we have sort this, we have sort bar up, same thing as bar down, bull candle, beer candle, they all mean the same thing. So that bar up and bull candle controls the bullish candles, while bar down and beer candle controls the bearish candle. So line chart, line chart is the chart that this uh, line chart is the chart like uh, if you want to change your chart to line graph, like you want to change your uh, where is it on iPhone? I'm, I'm even used to Android and this iPhone too. So, sorry, on chart, so you want to change it to line chart, it's going to be black. That's for those that use line charts, it's going to be black. So, if you change this settings right here, if you don't want to be using candlestick, but Japanese candlesticks, of course, is the best. We all know. If you want to change the line chart, that's where here you can change it to any color you want. Then your line chart is going to be blue right now. You see, so that's what controls that. So let's move to candlestick again because it's the best, right? So why volume? If you have the volume indicator, there are some things that will be springing up from the bottom. That's for volume, volume. Then bid and ask price. Bid and ask price line. See, I made mine blue and red. So now let me show you bid and ask price line. That price that is currently. You can see this price. You can see one. You can see this price. Current price is one point two one three two 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 four. It just changed to two one like that. There is a line that is red and blue and red. Those are the bid and ask price, just as you see here. So the low. This first price on Euro USD. Now just concentrate on Euro USD. We have one point one zero nine nine. Then we have a power like raise to power. That one is a pipette it, it, to keep fluctuating. Uh -huh. These are the bid and ask price. This one bid and ask price. These are the two bid and ask price. So we have them on chart represented with these two lines. So you can change those colors. You can change those colors to whatsoever you want, right? Uh, right at this point. That's that. So trade levels are, for example, if you enter trade, your entry point should be uh, green. Why your stop level should be red, your stop loss. Where you put your stop loss, let's say, for example, if that trade that we wanted to enter, if we are seeing the trade, you see that you see a dotted line, it's going to be red. Why the other one, that's for the trade on your charts. It should be shown on your chart like that. So that's that about the color. So now, now since you have the color set up, now let me just show you your crosshair. Crosshair, this one is what we used for pips count. This crosshair, I press this, simply press this plus of this stuff at this top right on my iPhone, top right. Whereas on Android, you only need to tap on your screen, on your, on your chart screen. I hope you are following. On your chart, you just tap on your chart screen, press the plus sign there, you are going to see your crosshair on Android. But whereas on iPhone, you can still tap here, but no, I don't think there's any other option than just to press this plus sign at the top. Then you see another sign here, this one is just like a summation. Summation sign, that one is what controls our indicator. 
here you can add multiple indicators just as you have on your uh, on your laptop you can add moving averages that we we're talking about yesterday here is the place to add moving average and yesterday we talked about 50 moving average a lot so add 50 moving average change it to a method change it to exponential remember i told you exponential is the best you have simple smoothed linear with it and exponential so you select exponential close shift zero then you can change the color to whatever color you want and you see the moving average too on your chart oh that's series sorry <laughs> Uh, and you see moving average on your chart. Okay, let me apply it. Like, done. You see, can you see the 50 moving average on your chart as red color? All right, so let's go ahead and remove it. You press the summation sign again. You click on edit on iPhone, but on Samsung is different. On iPhone, you click on edit and you press this rod, red, this minus. It's going to delete. That's it. But whereas on an Android phone, you press that summation sign to get your indicator and it's still the same process. But to edit it, you're going to see a small bin, a small basket, like waste bin basket at the top right. You click on it, then you select the indicator you want to delete, then it will be deleted. So that's that about that. That's the same thing to add RSI to second window. It's just the same thing. Then the next column you're going to see, we have talked about quotes, we have talked about chart. Now the next one is trade. Now you have your balance, equity, margin, free margin, margin, level, percent. I know. Mr. Jamie must have explained what, what this thing mean, what equity is, what margin is, and so on. So I'll not repeat it again. So all what I need to say is when you have a running trade, they will be running here. Okay. If you have a losing trade, you will be running here. Why the total of your trade? Let's say if you're in profit, this top, this top uh, side where the USD is written will be reading your own profit, will be reading your profit. If you're in, if you're in loss, it will be red. This blue here, it will be red. If you're in profit, it's going to be green like this. So this plus sign you see here, you can use it to add position. If you press it, you can use it to add position by yourself. So if you want to sell markets, instant execution, I know you, you have taught you instant execution and uh, pending orders. So if you want to do instant execution, instant execution is the same thing as market execution. If you want to do market execution, you click on instant market execution. If you want to select buy limits, see it changes and you put the price of the buy limit and to adjust it. So then you have trade history that just i believe that's that's just all so if you have any question uh i'll send another link so you ask your question because this webinar is about to end it's less than one minute so i'm going to send another link for just questions and answer as